Hi! I missed you! Thank you so much for clicking on to this video. My name is April, and this is April Budgets. I am a 35-year-old cash-stuffing factory working mama of four on a journey to become debt free so that I can buy me and my babies a house. If you want to join me in my journey, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. The best part about YouTube when you're on a budget is that it's absolutely free. In today's video, we're getting out the Erin Condren. We got to see where my money went this week. We got a budget June's paycheck for week three and things are going to look a little differently and I'll tell you why. We're also just going to do a quick cash stuffing because we're not stuffing a whole lot of cash today. So if any of this interests you, go ahead and keep on watching. So let's start off the video with how I always start off a video. And let's see where my money went this week. So all of the stickers that I use, all of these stickers are from Miss Casey Lee. And as always, her link will be down below. The stickers I use for my expenses, these ones come from Sweet Bunny Blessings, and I will leave the link for hers down below as well. So we didn't stuff a whole lot last week, um, and that's okay. In fact, I'm going to challenge myself and do a little no spend challenge on me simply because I want to save as much money as possible for Vegas. We are going to Vegas very shortly. So we are going to uh, uh, do the expense tracking from the 8th to the 14th, starting with the 11th. The 11th, we spent the $25 in eating out. We also had to pay our YouTube. This is YouTube Premium. That is $12.65. I am thinking about cutting some of the subscriptions that I absolutely do not need because I absolutely do not need YouTube Premium. I just like having it because I don't like watching ads, but it's something I can live with, right? Just like everyone else in the world lives with, right? <laughs> Next is the 12th. We put $40 in the gas tank. And then, let's see. I did pay some of the bills. So on the 12th as well, we had Kohl's for $29. I also paid at Capital One $40 as well. The 13th, I'm thinking, nope, it was not the 12th. No, actually it was. So we spent $4.58 uh, of our spending envelope. And I'm pretty sure that was just like at the gas station for probably candy and an energy drink. A candy, an energy drink for me and a candy for the kids. I'm guessing because that's usually where my spending money goes. Um, the 13th was actually a no spend day. And we love seeing those. The 14th, we did have an Apple payment that I believe is for the storage. And we also paid $9.46 out of the spending envelope. We also paid the electric bill on the 14th. That was $79.59. What I absolutely love about cash stuffing is that 
this is actually not due until like July. So I'm essentially a month ahead on my electricity. I got an email. I didn't get the bill in the mail. I got the email for it. So I get the email the next day, put the money in the bank, pay the bills. So it's such a good feeling that the second I get my electric bill or any of the bills that I've already stuffed, the money is already in the um, bank. It's already there and I can pay it. I also want to note that I did pay the gas bill that day as well. These stickers are just already down. So we actually paid the gas bill as well as the internet bill we paid on the 14th as well. So we paid those a week ahead of time. Um, I like doing it that way because honestly, I forget. I forget quite a lot. Um, and that is it for our expenses. Well, actually, let me do this because this actually came out of the envelopes. So the morning of Thursday, I had to put $10 in the gas tank. And then I did spend some out of the food. Oops, I forgot the household. The household we spent on the 14th as well. That was for $39.11. The baby needed diapers and I needed a few other things. We spent $5.38 out of the food and we did that on the 15th as well. That would be out of the groceries. And then the 16th, we spent $12.96 out of the grocery envelope as well. Now, I know we usually um, track our expenses like from the Thursday to the 11th or to the, the following Wednesday. But because today I'm recording this on Sunday, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to any, to any and all the fathers out there. But because I'm a little late in stuffing my um, envelopes, the money got taken out of this week's um, envelopes. So that is where the ex that's where my money went. Let's get into our weekly check-in to see how much we have left. Here we are for our check-in. Now, a lot of these envelopes are going to be empty just because I'm so late in stuffing them. So gas is empty, which means we spent the full 50. Um, update, y'all, I got offered a position that I could not refuse. I will be starting the new job July 11th. I am so excited. I get a raise and it is five minutes from my house. I am so, so happy. Thank you, everybody who said a prayer for me, who sent me positive vibes. Y'all, I am so happy. I cannot wait to start this new job. I was told that they are on overtime, which will be nice because I have not been able to tackle too much of my debt simply because... I haven't had the extra money, so I'm excited to see what I can do and how fast I can do it. Ooh, I'm just excited. So we won't have to, to put so much in gas anymore. Eating out, we did um, spend the full 25. Household, we spent all of it. Spending, I usually spend all of it, although I'm pretty sure we only stuffed 20 because we saved 10, I'm pretty sure. And then in groceries, groceries, we have 20 left. So I'm not mad about it. I mean, heck, that's $20. I am not stuffing a whole lot in these this coming week. And I'm going to tell you why. So that is it for our check-in. Let me show you what I did with the budget for week three of June. 
So here is the budget for paycheck number three of June. As you can see, we brought in $588. I always take care of my bills that come out of this paycheck and that came to 170. Then as you can see, we are only stuffing gas spending and household this week. I've decided to save the money in eating out and we don't need anything for groceries this week. So that came to 110. The cash envelopes, because I am a month ahead in a lot of them, I decided that th these three were the essentials. And then also we're stuffing our nails in our P.O. box, our P.O. box, um, because I really want to finish the savings challenge so that we can get a P.O. box. And then we are also stuffing $60 into our weekly cash stuffing video, which, as you can see, leaves me with a balance of $107.50. And this I transferred into my savings account and it's going to sit there. And the reason I did that is because me and my husband are traveling to Vegas in about one month. And obviously I don't want to carry around a bunch of cash. So instead of stuffing savings challenges or taking that money out since it's going to be used in Vegas anyway, I decided to put that money into my savings account and that's going to be some of our spending money for Vegas. So essentially it is a zero-based budget because I do not plan on um, touching this money, but that is why my budget looks a little um, 